So today we're going to look at another high yield topic, over-the-counter medications. So have a look at this question and then we'll go through the answers. This type of question is called a multiple best answer. As you can see, the question asks for three answers and you need to get them all right to get the full mark. So the correct answers are B, sumatriptan 50 milligrams. This can be sold without a prescription by a pharmacist as long as the patient has previously been diagnosed with migraine. C, orlistat 60 milligrams and E, azithromycin 500 milligrams. This can be supplied by a pharmacist without a prescription if a patient has a confirmed asymptomatic chlamydia infection, they're over 16, or for treatment of a sexual partner of someone diagnosed with chlamydia. The other drugs here all need the prescription. Omeprazole at a dose of 10 milligrams and more recently 20 milligrams are available from a pharmacy without a prescription. Omeprazole at a dose of 40 milligrams remains prescription only medication. Uh, the other Treatments here, all of these are prescription only medications, so they'll have this symbol next to them on the BNF, the POM symbol, which means prescription only medication. Uh, drugs that are available without prescription but from a pharmacist will have a P, it looks like this in the BNF. Okay? Some of the other symbols in the BNF that it's worth being aware of because this sometimes features are, are these. So when you have this inverted triangle, it means that usually it's a new drug and any adverse effect, not just really serious ones that we normally use a yellow card for, uh, should be reported. This uh, half black, half white rectangle means that this is considered by the Joint Formula Committee to be less suitable for prescribing, so unless you've got a really good reason, you should consider alternatives. Okay? This symbol means that it's not prescribable on the NHS, and so um, these are some of the important symbols to be aware of. Um, so I hope that's been useful, and do join us again tomorrow for another 30-day high-yield topic. Thank you so much.